morning. Thanks for uh, thanks for being here this morning. Um, I'm Tom Noonan, President and CEO of Visit Baltimore, and I especially want to thank all the visitors that are in town here for the inaugural Grand Prix, as well as obviously all the ticket holders this morning. And we are so thrilled about having the inaugural Baltimore Grand Prix here in Baltimore. So uh, the Baltimore Grand Prix is having a huge economic impact on the city of Baltimore, especially on a traditionally low and slow Labor Day weekend for us. What we're seeing in the city is we're seeing a lot of hotel bookings, we're seeing an increase in rate in terms of hotels, we expect the restaurants to do really, really well after the race is over and even during the race times. So we think this is going to have a huge economic impact not only on this weekend, but for the next five years as the Baltimore Grand Prix is scheduled to be here in Baltimore. So we're very excited. On top of that, to have these races broadcast to some 200 countries around the world is really putting a marketing a brand for Baltimore out there that may have never existed before. And we're really excited about people to see what downtown Baltimore looks like. And as we've been told, this is one sexy track, so this is going to be great for the city of Baltimore and for our image. So I'm serving as the MC this morning, and I just want to thank, obviously, our Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake for being here this morning, as well as Councilman Bill Cole. And I'm going to start that with introducing our Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake, Mayor. Good morning, everyone, and thank you, Tom, for all of your hard work. Thank you for your introduction. I am very happy to be here with, with Councilman Bill Cole as we kick off the Baltimore Grand Prix. In front of me, dozens of team members are working to make sure that their cars are up to speed for the beginning of the race. The same effort is taking place on the other side of the stadium at the American Le Mans Series paddock. I look forward to making a visit over there to see their operations and watch them interact with the many fans. And I hope the fans who are here appreciate uh, how this is laid out. We wanted to make the best fan experience possible, so I hope this is working for you. I want to thank everyone who is responsible for making this great event possible. Terry Angstadt, Angstad, excuse me, President, Commercial Division of uh, IndyCar, wave your hand. There you go. There you are. Scott Atherton, CEO of American Le Mans. Yay! Jay Davison, President of Baltimore Racing Development. Yay. Thank you all uh, for working so hard uh, with the city to make this happen. Did I forget someone? No? All right, good. All right, on behalf of the people of Baltimore, I hope each and every one of you enjoy my hometown. The Baltimore Grand Prix is a world-class event that will provide a much-needed economic boost to Baltimore. Every year, Labor Day is a slow weekend for Baltimore's hospitality industry. Around here, Labor Day weekend is, is uh, frequently called everyone's last weekend at the beach, but no more. Uh, this year, Labor Day weekend is your weekend in Baltimore. The Grand Prix will transform Labor Day weekend into one of the most profitable with hotel rooms booked and with restaurants and bars packed. So this is my plug to all of the visitors. Make sure that you enjoy our wonderful, wonderful restaurants and bars responsibly, but enjoy. There is so much to see in Baltimore. The Grand Prix will put Baltimore in a new national and international spotlight, bringing positive attention annually right here to Baltimore. The Grand Prix is not is the only truly downtown waterfront road race. The Grand Prix will showcase our city in a unique fashion and no other city in America will be able to replicate it. I'm grateful for everyone who has worked to make this weekend possible. I also look forward to meeting people from across this country and across the world who have come to enjoy my hometown. I look forward to personally welcome you, welcoming you. I hope everyone enjoys this incredible event. I wish each team the best of luck and have a great weekend. Thank you very much. Thank you, Madam Mayor, for your leadership and support of this event. It's made a big difference for our tourism, and we really greatly appreciate it. So thank you very much. Uh, next, I have the pleasure of bringing Terry Engstead to the podium. Ter Terry is the president of the commercial division of IndyCar. Terry? Uh, thank you all very much. Uh, believe me, when we first had the opportunity to consider bringing our product to your beautiful city, uh, it just really took one visit and a very quick conversation uh, with, at the time, your future mayor. 
and we really have to compliment um, your mayor as well as Councilman Cole for a very big and bold decision to do this. We understand when we come into a market like this, our product is not for everyone. So we really appreciate that endorsement. We think when people see the excitement of our cars, the LMS cars, the entire series of the Road to Indy, you'll really embrace it as much as we do. IndyCar really stands for speed, technology and innovation, diversity and green, so we could not think of a better city, a better back backdrop to bring our product to you. So thank you again for being here. Thank you, Madam Mayor, for hosting us. We look forward to a fantastic weekend with you. Thank you. Next, I want to bring uh, Scott Atherton to the podium. Scott is the CEO of the American Le Mans Series, our other big race this weekend. So, Scott. Thank you, Tom. On behalf of the American Le Mans Series, presented by Tequila Patron, I want to say it's truly an honor for us to be racing here this weekend. I know for many of you in this market, you're not hardcore race fans. In fact, some of you may not be familiar with just exactly what's going on this weekend. I can tell you that between the combination of IndyCar and the American Le Mans series, you truly have the two premier road racing series in the business. And the fact that we're racing on such a incredible facility, the track that's been laid out here around the Inner Harbor, breathtaking in its beauty. This weekend, we will showcase the city of Baltimore in a way that has not been done in recent times. You have multiple live television broadcasts that will go out of here both Saturday and Sunday. Our race will be on ABC television Sunday evening. I encourage everyone here to certainly attend the events Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then return home with your DVRs having recorded all of the live racing action and watch it with great pride. A moment about the American Le Mans Series. We have eight different manufacturers involved. There's four different tire companies. There's four different alternative fuels. As the global leader in green racing, for instance, this factory Corvette to my life is out competing with cellulosic E85 ethanol. So there's technologies being developed here on the racetrack that will be applied to the cars that you and I will hopefully someday drive. Again, on behalf of the series, it's an honor to be here. We look forward to putting on a fantastic show for you and giving you a product on a sustainable yearly basis that you can be very, very proud of. Hats off to the mayor and to Councilman Cole for taking such a courageous move to put this in place. You won't be disappointed. Thank you very much. When he's going to Baltimore's own, so we're very proud of him. So, Jay, from the podium. Thank you. Thank you and welcome. Good morning. It's a, uh, it's a great day in Baltimore. I want to uh, echo the remarks and, and thank Mayor Rollins Blake for her leadership, both, both with respect to this event and for the greatest city in the country. And also Bill Cole, Councilman Cole has been wonderful working with our organization to, to work the community outreach aspect of it to sort of educate our communities as to what to expect this weekend and beyond. And then of course our partners with the series, Terry, Scott, we're looking forward to great racing here this weekend. So I just thank you all for being here. I hope you have a great time and come back for many years. Thanks. Okay, first of all, give me your name. Scott Atherton. I'm the president and CEO of the American Le Mans Series presented by Tequila Patron. Okay. Um, how is racing in Baltimore going to be different from most of the tracks where we all race? Well, it, inherently the difference here is that it's a temporary street circuit. And in our types of cars, we race on both permanent road courses like tracks such as Sebring International Raceway, Road Atlanta, Laguna Seca. But we also have other tracks similar to this like in Long Beach, California, where it is an inner city temporary street circuit. Uh, what's different here, I believe, is that this is probably the most downtown of any of the tracks that we've been on. Uh, and I also think it's going to be one of the fastest tracks. Uh, unlike many of the temporary street circuits, there actually is quite a long straightaway here. And by comparison, it's, it's an open type of uh, track that it's going to be. We'd like your attention directed to our ceremonial stage and screens throughout the Baltimore Grand Prix circuit. Today is Armed Forces and First Responders Appreciation Day, presented by Under Armour. Throughout the course, we welcome today a number of individuals and their families who have accepted the duty of serving and protecting our municipalities and our country. 
We are pleased to be joined today for a brief ceremony by representatives of our military, our city, and our great state of Maryland. At this time, we begin our ceremonies by welcoming the assembled guests at our stage, a group of brave individuals in front of us who have served our military, representing the American Legion, AMVET, DAV, NABVET, and VFW. They have made the sacrifice to protect our freedom as they represent our military veterans. Thank you for your service. Here to present our nation's colors is the Maryland National Guard Honor Guard. To deliver our invocation, Maryland Army National Guard Chaplain, Sean Lee. I invite all who will to bow with me for prayer. God, we thank you today for all of the hard work and effort that went into bringing this inaugural Grand Prix event to Baltimore. Bless the efforts of all those who prepared, and may the event be a success these next three days. May the drivers be skilled in the racing and safe in the end of the result. May all who participate as fans have a good time, but also be safe. And especially today, we thank you for those who stand as guardians of our nation and our state, keeping them free. Bless them and their families for their service. Amen.